What's up guys, Gary here with Self Taught Dev. Today we are gonna go over how to update an Android device from an older version that cannot be updated by default anymore to a higher version. More specifically, I'm gonna be updating an SMT350, which is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A Wi-Fi from Android version 7.1.1, which is the highest it can get to by default, to Android 11. Uh, I've had to do this for four or five tablets for work, and it took me about eight, nine, 10 hours to figure out how to get the first one done just because of some stupid bug. So I wanted to kind of put this out there in case anybody else has the same tablet and runs into the same issue. Hopefully this saves you some time. And then also kind of to export my memory and have a have these steps recorded in case I ever need to do this again. The general steps should apply to any Android device as long as you have a little bit of a critical thinking ability. Um, you should be able to figure this out if you have a different device. The files you download might need to be a little bit different, but if you just Google those, I'm sure, sure you will be able to find them and you can still follow along the same path we walk. So first things first, I'm gonna have everything you need to download in the description or at least links to it. Uh, but we do need Odin. This is not device specific. So you can download this regardless of what device you have. Um, the version you download doesn't really matter. It should still accomplish the same thing, but this is going to allow us to write the TWRP bootloader to our device so we can in turn install the open source software we need to get to Android 11. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Odin linked in the description, so just go download that. I think I've got version like 3.10 point something, but I just get the highest one they have on here at the time you watch this video. The next thing we're gonna need is Lineage 18.1. So Lineage 18.1 corresponds with Android 11. So if you want a different version of Android, look for a different Lineage version. Um, I don't, if you just Google um, Lineage OS, you should find a site that's got the version of Lineage and then the version of Android it corresponds to. But again, for this video, we are trying to get to Android 11. So everything we download will revolve around that and around an SMT350, which if you look over here, this has the GTS 210. Um, I don't know why that's a different tag than the SMT350, but this is apparently another tag that corresponds with the SMT350. So this, this file is device specific if you're going for something else, like if you've got another tablet, I would try to find the lineage version you want and the device that matches or the tag that matches your device. If you try to use this one and you have a different device, this might break your device. Also, I'm not responsible if your device gets bricked as a result of this video. I've done this on four or five tablets successfully and have had, have not had any issues aside from the small one that added like six hours to me figuring this out. Yeah, make a backup of your device just in case anything happens. Next thing we need is the Lineage OS um, Mind the Gaps. What this does is allows us to install the Google Play Store and Google Apps to our device after we upgrade to Android 11. So again, I'll have this linked in the description, but you would download whichever version corresponds with the, an with the Android version you're trying to update to. I'm going for um, Lineage 18.1, which is Android 11. So I got the ARM version. If you are an ARM64, then you should download that. But if you've got a SMT350, just get the ARM version. That's all you need. Next thing, I could not find where I got this. So I'm gonna throw this on my Google Drive, but we need TRP 7.0 or uh, 3.7.0 underscore nine SMT350. So again, this uh, this is going to be device specific. If you have a different device, try to find the TRP, TWRP version for your device. If you just Google TWRP and your model, something should come up that you can use. Again, I'm gonna have this linked in the description, so just go there to download it. The last thing we need is very specific to my device being on 7.1.1. I have to downgrade to Android 6 point something, which is Marshmallow, because this file in version 7.1.1 does not turn on the backlight of your tablet, so it doesn't look like your tablet turns on. So we have to down, downgrade to six point whatever, and then install that, and then it works. So that is sp super specific to my device and my version. You probably won't have to do that if you're on a different Android device. To get that, um, just go to sammobile.com 
and then you can actually just find your device on here. I, I, SMT350 is probably the only device that's gonna have to do this, but you would find a 6.0 version. Uh, I got the Canadian version and download that, and then I'm gonna show you how to install that on your device, or rather downgrade to that. So those are all of the files you need. The next thing we need to do is turn on the developer options in our tablet. I'm gonna have to switch to my phone to show that because this device is so old that I can't screen mirror, unfortunately. So low quality video coming up, high quality information. All right, so to get our tablet into the, to access the developer options, we need to go to settings. We're gonna go down. As you can see, I've already got it enabled here, but we're just going to go to about tablet. And then all you need to do is tap the build number eight times. Now, as you can see, it says developer mode has already been turned on, but as you tap that, it will count down how many ticks or how many taps it needs to turn on developer options. And once that's done, you either need to close settings and reopen it, or just scroll down and developer options should be right here. Now, if you've got a different tablet, you need to look through here and see if there is an OEM unlock setting. If there is, enable that. Mine does not have that option, but if you have that and you do not turn that on, there is a high chance you break your device. So make sure you scroll through, see if you have that anywhere, and if so, enable that. Now, our developer options, options should be on, as you see here. And then the only other thing we need to turn on is USB debugging, so we would tap that and turn that on. After we've got that done, we need to put our tablet into reset mode or the um, safe reboot. I forget what it's called. But to do that on this one specifically, we're gonna hold down the power button and we will restart the device. And when we restart the device, we need to hold down the power button, the down button and the home button at the same time. I can't do that with one hand. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you're just gonna have to trust me that I do that. And that will get us into the safe reboot mode. So this is what it should look like. So it should give you a warning. We can basically ignore all this. We're gonna press up on the volume button and that will get us into the download mode. You can see all of your device's specs up there, but we are going to now plug our device into the computer. Hopefully you've got something you can plug your device into your computer with. But once we've got that, we need to launch Odin. So we're gonna go back to the computer here. We're gonna go into our Odin download. And then we will launch the executable. It will pull up Odin. It should say added, and that will, that will say, hey, we've got your device, we see your device. If you don't have this, go download Android Studio. And that should install the USB drivers your device needs. And then it should say added here. Now, like I said, on my device, since it's an SMT350, I need to download from Android 7.1.1 to Marshmallow. So we're gonna click on the AP button here. We're gonna navigate to where all of our files are. We're gonna go into the Marshmallow. Uh, if you don't have this specific device, you can skip it, go look in the timestamps. Uh, but we're gonna double click this and then our device is in download mode, so we gotta give this a sec here. And then once the file shows up here, we're just gonna click start. It is a pretty large file, but that's it's the OS for Marshmallow, so. We'll just let this run here. Once that's done, you should see that this says pass. As you can see, it took me three minutes, 53 seconds, but we are all green there. And then if we look on the device, the device is installing the Android operating system. That can take about five minutes, so we'll just let that run too. After it gets past that first screen, you should see a Android is upgrading. Uh, numbers there might be the same, might not, who knows? And then you'll get an Android is starting screen like this. Now, if your device gets into an infinite reload screen with this logo on it, that's fine. As long as you get past those first two steps, you're good. We just need to get the device back into recovery mode. So we're gonna press the home button, the down volume button, and then hold down the power button as well. And that'll get us back into that. Once you're there, we're just gonna press the up on the volume button again to get back into the download mode. From here, we need to change what file is selected in our AP, we need to Select the TWRP version that we got. Um, again, make sure this is 
correct for your device. And then we need to go to options and turn off auto reboot. Your device should say added, it should be here. And then we'll click start. And it shouldn't take too long, only a few seconds, and then you should get a pass, all threads complete, success one. Now from here, we need to restart our device in recovery mode again. Click. So we're currently still on the download screen and we're just gonna hold down the, the power button or the, the home button, the down volume, and then the power button. And as soon as the screen goes black, uh, change from pressing down on the volume button to up. And you should see a yellow message in the top left that says set warning bit recovery. And then it should boot into team win uh, this new bootloader here. Now we don't wanna actually do anything on that yet. We wanna go back to our computer. And here we want to go and drag the Mind of the Gaps and the Lineage 18.1. Don't do whatever you're doing there, stop. <laughs> we need to grab these and drag these to our tablet. Oh, I've actually already got those on this tablet, but you would drag those onto the tablet and then this will allow you to install them on the tablet via that new bootloader we just got. So from here, we're just going to slide to unlock. We're gonna swipe to allow modifications. We're gonna go to wipe. Again, hope you've, you've backed up your device. Uh, we want to advance wipe and we want to select everything except the internal storage because we need what's on the internal storage for our update. And we'll just swipe right on that and then let this do its thing. Now, I didn't actually have an SSD inserted, so I got an error message for that part, but no big deal. Uh, it's still finished and it says done. Now we're gonna go back, back again, back to the home screen. And then here we need to install our data. So we're gonna go click on install and scroll down to the bottom. And the first thing we're gonna install is lineage. So we'll click on that. We will slide to the right and then we will let that install. All right, so I was mistaken. Apparently my devices are a GT58 Wi-Fi and not the other one I had. Just know if you've got a Samsung Galaxy Tab A and SMT50 or T350, you need the GT58 Wi-Fi Lineage OS version. I will have that linked correctly in the description though. Uh, but we're gonna grab this and drag that to our tablet. From here, we want to swipe to reopen. We've already wiped the cache. We went to advanced. We checked data, RT, ATR cache, cache and system, and swiped to clean that. Now we're gonna go to install, go down to the bottom, and we're going to select the Lineage 18.1 GT58 one. And then we'll swipe to install that. So you can see there's a little error message saying this is de this device is GT58. Um, and it aired out last time, but now that we've got the correct version, it is successfully installing. So we'll let that install. Once that finishes successfully, we do need to wipe the cache. So we'll click that and then swipe to wipe the cache. Then we'll go back. We'll click the home button, go to install. And now we need to install the Mind the Gaps 11.0. And this will install the Google apps for us. Once that finishes, we're going to wipe the cache one more time. And then we can reboot the system. It should say it's booting from kernel instead of restore. And then we should have the lineage OS loader show up for us. From here, you should be able to run through the startup. I'm not going to go through all this because it's going to be kind of boring, but run through all this and then you should be on version 11. We'll check after I get all this done. Once it's all done, it should look something like this. We're just going to scroll to the right and go to settings. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom and click on about tablet. And we can see that we have Android version 11 installed. So we have achieved our goal. If you run into any issues or have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below or come up in Discord and I can kind of help you debug stuff more easily there. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out, if you learned some stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.